Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Entertainment Dudes. I'm Dura- Jason Crossman, Director Dude. I'm this Cam, is- Wait, the voiceover dude. dude. Right here, this side. Yes, yeah, so Cam, yeah, get go. the countdown started. All right, let's do Ready? it. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25. Okay, go ahead, Cam. Just. Hey, welcome, welcome to Entertainment Dudes. Uh, by our countdown, you might have a little bit of an idea who our guest is today. You Just a hint. Know? We gave you a pretty a big hint. hint. Pretty yes. big hint. But we, I think we need to give people a bigger hint because I'm so really too. excited about this. And if you can't so, guess by the end of this reel, yeah, uh, just then you sh- you got to watch, watch another show. Watch something, watch else. something else. Yeah, exactly. Ralph Arbissina, founder of the militant wing of the Salvation Army. V Gates is in. Sehr gut, Herr Doctor. How are things? I have come to embrace the love that dare not speak its name. You know you want more. A funky, funky skit more. It's good times galore. On the dance, dance floor. Get funky, skit more funky. I do not support that kind of behavior, Ben. Don't you think I ought to be living in the city instead of stuck here in this mess? Tell me what you think. Yes, which Christmas cookie would you like? Santa. <gasps> oh, oh, his first one. Yes, that is a Santa play. Do you want to hold the Santa play? Yes. Oh. Listen up, people. In Intel, this comes from a reliable source very high up. Pope Francis? No names, but trust me. We're talking big news about Leslie Mulligan Ross. Your father and I were talking, and we think it's a good idea to get a little help around the house. Bring in the fan bots! Send in the guns! Send in the clown! Scott! Bring in laser in the shot! You want the clown! I'm in the laser! What uh, business are you in? I'm a comedian. Let me just light that sucker with my Zippo. Oh my, you have a lighter with your initials engraved in it. I'm kind of a smoker now. <gasps> Look who's all grown up. <laughs> I would like for you to paint my portrait. Oh, will you pay me? Not even a compliment. We're getting the countdown to 30. 30! 29! 28! 27! 26! 25! We're scared, but we're still alive. Let go. Buzzards. Cody made it out. Tucker, I can't see. I can't see. Be still. I can't see anything. Be still. Is that you? Be still. 13! You know what? When the door's closed, just say go. Better. The Mon- amazing Mon- Mindy Sterling. You guys, that is <laughs> the best. That is the best best reel I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my god! I can't believe you took the time to do that. And do you know how hard it was trying to pick stuff? Your IMDb uh, <sighs> credits list is like I can't even fit it in the screen. But not only did you pick the good stuff, but <laughs> you picked the good se- the moments. Like, I haven't seen those things in a really really long time i am so impressed thank oh, you thank you thank you oh wow. that was so fun to put together so we were just laughing like oh, hysterically <laughs> oh wow yeah you so uh yeah tell us tell us what's been what's been going on in life uh uh with you oh my gosh that's a big old question <laughs> i was uh doing the goldbergs for five years i was right. recurring on that which i loved i loved everyone in it it was so it was just such a great place to go to. I couldn't wait to like call and say, hey, um, you know, they want to use you at these dates and blah, 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 blah. And then it just got canceled. So right. I'm kind of like in that bummer area where you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to work again. And oh, what am I going to do? I'm never going to find anything so wonderful. So I'm kind of, you know, I mean, I know that's not true, but yeah. you just, you know, you're getting older and you just start to feel like, oh no, what am I doing? Um, so, uh, but I'm doing, I'm doing fine, um, actually, and I'm going to do a small little um, uh, a film 
uh, next month. And it's with, do you remember William Cat? Yes. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Sweetest, loveliest man. And um, he uh, he's going to be in it. And we're, we play a couple. Uh, it's just one little scene, but I love doing, um, I love doing small independent films because it gives me the freedom to kind of play with my dialogue because I'm right. not really great at memory. And so I get to do what I think I do best is improv. Yes. Um, and um, so, yeah. And then we are celebrating the Groundlings, which is where I'm from. Mm -hmm. The Groundlings is celebrating next month uh, 30 years of doing a show that we've done there called Cooking with Gas on Thursday nights and it's all improv and they are celebrating. I mean, that's pretty amazing. 30 years of the show right, right. is still very, very successful at the Groundlings. So I'm going to be a part of that. I'm going to do some shows I'm going to direct a show. So, you know, I just try to keep busy. What I mean, you know, it's all we can do really until our next, thing pops up right well yeah that's that's right let's start with the with the groundling since you mentioned that let's go let's go take a look at some this stuff. is their uh, first appearance on the tonight show would you welcome the groundlings <laughs> perform at hospitals. What do you perform? Do you I, I do a stand-up comedy and also playlets. Fantastic. So yeah, the groundlings you you teach there. We've got some video of you teaching and so forth. So uh, tell us, tell us uh, how you got started there and actually, uh, you know, do you guys stay a family? Or are you still doing all that kind of stuff today? Well, first of all, I love that place with all my heart and soul. Yes. I would do anything for the groundlings and um, I have it's given me um, a, a, a skill that does not happen for everybody. So I know that, you know, right. I work really hard, but there's something about um, doing improv where you can create whatever it is that you want based on suggestions from the audience or suggestions from your, your, your um, other partner. And um, I started taking, I think I started like late eighties. I think it was or early nineties. I got into the main company and mm -hmm. I taught there and directed. And so um, I still go back there. I still have um, just such lovely memories of so many people. I mean, you guys just, whoever is putting your sh stuff together is amazing. That's us. That's, us. <laughs> That's, us. That's our whole team. <laughs> guys, I'm, I really am. I'm so flattered. Um, and I'm so like, wow, it just says so much more than anybody is I've seen, you know, of myself, which is very frightening, but it brought, it just brings back so many wonderful memories. And um, I got to, you know, really work with a lot of amazing people. I mean, I taught, I taught um, so you, many people that have moved on to bigger right. and better things. Well, you, had, um, you had Lisa Kudrow, Lisa right? Kudrow. You worked with her. And so you're darling, listen to me. Be who you are and be happy about it, all right? You're wonderful. <laughs> Lisa Kudra and I, yeah, we were um, in the company together. I directed her in the Sunday company. You know. We uh -huh. were friends. Oh, oh, my God, so many things. I've had a lot of people from SNL. I had Sherry O'Terry. Mm. Um, I had Mikey Day, who's on that right now. Um, I had Chris Kattan. I had, it's just, it's like so, so many wonderful, like, memories and just experiences and I still get to go back. I mean, I'm going to be 70 ne this this year. I don't I'm believe it. Uh, I swear. No. I swear. Lies. Lies. No. Uh, lies. lies. <laughs> no. I, but I am. And so when I think about that and I think, wow, um, I can still go back and do improv, still do shows. Mm -hmm. I mean, they still allow me to do that. And um, so, yeah, it's pretty. I mean, boy, seeing I'm telling you, seeing these things, you guys, that you just put up. I feel so much better about myself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's our pleasure. If we do wow, nothing else, that's right. Our I job is done. Do that stuff. Thanks yeah, for, yeah. Well, so I've thanks got for joining us on Entertainment Dudes. This has been a wonderful a great show. <laughs> we have done what we're set out to do. I, so I've got a question for you, just in terms of improv. Uh, you know, working with actors, what do you think makes makes a successful improv like how, how do you become successful at improv because some people find it easy others it's might as well be impossible so what what do you think 
Uh, well, I think you 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 have to just you know you have to really really be in the moment. So, in other words, what we're doing right now is improv. It's not mm -hmm. improv, you know, to to put on a stage and make people laugh. But what we're doing is we do. I mean, you know what questions you might ask me, but I don't know what answers I'm going to give you, and vice versa. So, we're doing actual improv now. So it's really being very present yeah. and being um, in the moment and not thinking ahead or having your agenda and trying to fight that with somebody else. And there's a whole thing about improv, it's called yes and. Mm -hmm. and yes and literally is just me saying something and then you yes and it by, by um, exploring what I just said and reacting and going from there as opposed to you know wanting to go, all right, well, enough of that. So let's go, so you're not dismissing anybody. Mm -hmm. And that's a great, yes and is a great thing, a tool to use in everything in life. Because sometimes, you know, the Groundlings do a lot of industrials and a lot of work going to um, teach people um, that have uh, businesses and that um, are they're trying to get them to take a look at how to work together as opposed to, well, I don't like that idea or blah, blah, blah. How can you make it work better um, and productive? So you have to have an interesting point of view. You know, I love doing character work. So a lot of my things um, are really from, you know, uh, character oriented. Um, and I love working with people. I'm not a stand up. I don't do it by myself. So I like being with people and listening and how I can make this work even better. And you just do have this teamwork. Yeah. Listening is really important, right? I mean, that's, you know, because that's what we're doing right, right now. Yes. That's what we're totally doing right now. And you cannot do anything with someone if you don't listen to them. I don't care if you don't like what they say. I don't care if you had a better idea. Right. If they say it first or establish it first, your your idea is gone. And you have to make that all work. Wow. And you go with what you've got. Yeah, I think there's an interesting dynamic to how thin the line is between drama and comedy. Because, you know, drama is, like, co comedy is almost always pushing, taking the drama and flipping it upside down and then pushing it as far as it can go and you know and staying on that line is really uh that's the challenge and then doing that on the spot with other people simultaneous it's it's pretty exciting i i always i always enjoy that have you guys thing. seen have you guys seen a, a show at the groundlings i have not yet no, no I've, yet. I've wanted to okay. I, i've never gone can i can i invite you <gasps> uh, yes to yes listen. yes okay so next month you'll give me your information and everything and i probably have it i would love to have you as my guest Oh, I'll um, be honored. Gosh. And um, we've got lots of celebrities that are doing the show um, because they've been a part of um, the Cooking with Gas show is um, Melanie Graham. Um, she has created it. And what it means is um, gas means groundlings. A is alumni. Mm -hmm. And S is the Sunday company. So oh. what we've done is we've had we have three types of people that we would look for to be a part of it. And then we would have a guest. Um, to come in. So um, that's kind of what goes on. And so we do have a lot of guests. We at least Kudrow's doing the show. I don't know if I'm in that one, but I'll find one for you guys and I'll let you know. And hopefully you, you can make it. And I would love to oh, have not you. Hopefully Thank you. there's, Thank yes, you. please. Yeah. That'd be amazing. It'd be <laughs> awesome. So I know that in, in your uh, growing up, your, your dad was a uh, comedian too, and he did stand up, right? And he was a singer. My dad, okay, so my dad was uh, had a, the most incredible voice you, you could ever imagine. And I'm not just saying that because it's my dad. But um, he, um, he started, he was a, um, he worked with, the first person that he worked with, because he, he, he worked with teams, was mm -hmm. Shecky Green. Here he is, Shecky Green. You know Shecky, you remember Shecky yeah, Green? Yeah, he's a comedian too, right? Yeah. Yes. Yoo-hoo! And that was a guy's name, Yoo-hoo, and he came up. <laughs> Yes. So my dad was less of a, a stand-up comic and more of a, um, a performer. Okay. And um, so he, anyway, so he ended up meeting um, a, a, a Shecky and Shecky was the funny one. And my dad was, I guess, set up to the be the man. most great guys, great singer. But Shecky oh. could sing too. So so they, they worked for a while. And then, um, uh, and then it was um, Sammy Shore. He said, Brother Sam, what's the answer? I said, well, what's the question? <laughs> um, and he was so, and so I think my dad was, after a while, was kind of getting tired of 
not being the funny one. And, and then he was with somebody else, you know, later on. So, um, and in his later years, he, cause he was also an actor and in his later years, he did shows himself. So he would go um, to, cause I'm, um, I'm from Miami, Florida. So mm -hmm. he did a lot of shows in, in Miami beach and, and did things like that. So he could be funny, did condos. Right. And, um, and then he could sing and his uh -huh. voice was, um, the only thing is he barely sang anything um, real, like he would be funny with it. Okay. But I'm telling you, you'd have goosebumps if you heard him sing. So did, he, was did, he do, did he do Abraham or a, a play? Yes. Send away my, my firstborn son. It's, it's unthinkable. For 14 years I've, I've known the boy and yet, and yet, Maybe she's right. Maybe she's right. Ishmael, Ishmael, I was so wrong trying to help the Lord's vision along. Oh my goodness! Oh. <laughs> oh. You guys are, you are really, I mean, absolutely amazing to, to oh, go that you, far man. and look for that. And um, no, he was absolutely incredible, incredible. And, you know, he didn't want um, what I heard was uh, he could have been, you know, someone bigger and better. But I think at the time he had a family. I mean, my mom and dad were divorced when I was like probably six, seven, mm -hmm. eight, like mm -hmm. that. Um, and so, and he just, I think he just found it, um, you know, easier to work in Florida. And, but um, as far as talent goes, he's incredible. So thank you for that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. I loved his voice. Cause we saw oh, a yeah. couple, a couple right. other pro projects and it's just that, that deep baritone. It's just a oh. rich, rich sound. And it's like, it's the kind that just, I don't know. It's just so calming and soothing. I, I loved it. It was great. So well, and he also he also um, when he was al uh, when he, uh, he was alive, I um, was auditioning for Austin Powers, and my father also was incredible with dialects. So I remember calling him and saying, "Okay, I have to do this German accent, and I'm afraid I'm just going to sound like a Jew." And um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I was going to go back into, and so he helped me with that, and um, so. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, no, he was uh, an incredible um, performer and uh, and loved, and so yeah, it's really nice. Thank you. Yeah, sure. you Did obviously you got into entertainment as well. What what is like? Do you think one of the one of the big lessons you learned uh, from him, just growing up and and becoming an entertainer yourself? I think you know his sense of humor. Um, I, uh, my mother and father both were very animated. So that's right. definitely what I have <laughs> is animation. And, um, so I was always told to like, all right, tone it down, tone it down, <laughs> so, you know, finding that, uh, yeah, that, 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 that balance there. Um, I, you know, I just think, um, he had such a great voice. I sing not like him. I think we, what he also, um, you know, told me to do is try to do everything. Try to do everything. So, you know, um, you should be good, good at singing and, and, and acting and comedy and drama and, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I remember when I was like, I think 13, he said, okay, I'm, uh, I want you to t um, take a class as a Shakespeare. I want you to learn Shakespeare because if you could do Shakespeare, you can do anything. And well, well that was not true. Because, <laughs> oh my God, you guys at 13, you know, when I was outside playing with my friends down the block um, on a on Saturday mornings, I had like an hour with this lovely woman who I, you know, would give me these monologues that I had to work on them and I just wasn't doing it. And she finally said, um, yeah, Mindy, I don't think you want to do this. <laughs> You're like, and, you I think? Said, and I said, yeah, I know, but my dad really thinks, you know what? Let me talk to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> talk to your dad. She will never do this again. <laughs> and so, yeah. so we realized that that's not Mindy's, you know, first love. I love theater. I love TV. I love movies because movies, you can take some time. Um, I love, love um, animation. I love voiceover stuff. I mean, I want to yeah. do more of it. I really do because um, A, I don't have to memorize anything. And um, I love the people. I love watching the people in there, 
you know, come alive and do what they do. So, um, which is how I met um, Scott Parkin. Hi, Scott. Wow, Mindy Sterling, you're on TV. Yes, you can now find Pop-Tarts in your grocer's freezer. Great commercial, of course. Thanks, Scott. Uh, you're in Puss in Boots right now, uh, correct? Yes. Oh, she's, yeah, she's, but, you know, she's just, she's loud and she's, uh, so I have. Oh, so sorry, Hazel. I'm so sorry. Uh, how do you develop a character, like, especially in voiceover? What's your, what's your approach with her? Well, I kind of just ask, first of all, I want to ask, well, what are you looking for? Right. Well, she's this and this and this, or what would you think, you know? So I kind of work with what what my, um, you know, um, my easy stuff is or stuff that I just kind of go to. And, um, and then they can, you know, they'll taper it or they'll help you. But I, yeah, I kind of want to know and hopefully just give me a couple of ideas and then I can play with that. So. Okay. okay. Now we found one of your acting tips, which I think is probably the most important one, especially if you're in LA and that is, Leave enough time for the 405. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are like, you're fucking crazy. This is so awesome. I want to come on every week to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Whatever other things have I done. Exactly. <laughs> so what, what spurned that one? So Obviously, yeah. the 405, and I was trying to get somewhere. But everybody is this, you know, this social media thing is out of, out of control, yeah. I think. And um, I remember, um, uh, I mean, I just was always on, like, Facebook was good enough for me. Facebook was good enough for me. And then I remember uh, Tara Strong, I was doing a voiceover thing, and Tara Strong said to me, oh, honey, you got to get on Twitter. And I'm like, what? <laughs> now, yeah, and she put, me on Twitter. she put me on Twitter. I never go on Twitter. She put me on Twitter, and it was just like, oh, oh. And then, and then somebody else said, okay, then, you know, when Instagram went crazy, it was like, okay. So I'd rather do pictures mm -hmm. than... You know, Twitter is like um, just, you know, stories or sharing something or an idea or putting someone down or. I would say you know, gossip would be the closest <laughs> thing I could think of. That's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> right. 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 And I just I just don't want to be that kind of a person. And it doesn't um, interest me. Yep. And um, so I'd rather see pictures. I'd rather see. And they're all little stuff. Like I have if you've gone to my Instagram, I have my son and I live together and we are like just we adore one another i probably adore him more than he adores me but um, <laughs> he might be like a little too much actually but. Um, yeah but you know i call myself the annoying mom and mm -hmm. so i do these i do these videos with him and i you know just i talk to him and i interview him or whatever is going on and uh he's on the um the um uh, autistic spectrum so he's so interesting and so funny hello what the hell is that it's, it's a puppet of frau Okay, can you operate the puppet? Like, I mean, I can, I can do it, but I can't. I'm not one to redirect my voice. If you want well, just to do ventriloquism, <laughs> just, just give it one hell of a. Keep it up, keep her up. She's gonna die. <laughs> give it one hell of a shot. And I can't do you, a good German accent. It doesn't matter. Just go, Scott, Scott. <laughs> That that really fucked with my voice. Oh, there. Max. Max, you did it once. Your voice is going to no, be no, fine. No, it felt weird. It felt weird doing that. Well, it feels weird to me, too. Okay, cool. Now try it. Now say, um, Let's, uh, I love you, Mindy. I love you, Mama. I love you. Okay. and I, But I love you, Max. I love you, too, Mom. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, my God, you guys, we need a show. You're so great. Blah, blah, blah. And I, um, but it, you know, it's, yeah, it's harder than it looks. How, how old is he? He's 28. Oh, wow. Okay. So how do you, that's a, how did you balance that with your, your yeah. work? That's, that's really, cause you hear like, oh, you can't do both, but clearly that's not true. <laughs> well, at the time I was married early on, I was married. Um, mm -hmm. we divorced, uh, when he was 14, I think around 14. Mm. So, uh, you know, so when I, he was in school, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, um, now it's he's great. I mean, he's yeah. you know, he'll let me know if I if he likes a project, if it's a voiceover thing that I don't know about. He'll go, Mom, Mom, do you know what this is? This is great, you know. Yeah. And um, so he's uh, he's yeah, he helps me a lot um, in terms of letting me know the style of something or right. um, you know, that I was good or yeah, he's he's like you know, I don't know what I would do without him. Uh, have you even attempted um? Like uh, TikTok. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's like no, I didn't. Uh, you know, I know it's I know it's never say never, you guys, but no. Um, well, I enjoy watching reels. I enjoy I love watching. This is what I love to watch. I love to watch anything that's dance dancing oriented, like okay. amazing mm -hmm. dancers. I love anything from Broadway. Uh, you know, musicals. Um, I love uh, babies. <laughs> you can, well, children not and animals i am like that's all i watch now there's a rumor on tiktok and i want to i want to set the record straight here whether it's true or not this is not so, a bad rumor this, this is, is not, not a bad a rumor thing. but uh let's watch this here's another awesome tv show theme song today we have an american sitcom television series that ran on nbc for seven seasons premiering on september 22nd 1982 and ending on may 14th 1989 the series was created by Gary David Goldberg, and it captured one of the breakout stars of the 80s and one of the most beloved actors of all time. Are you ready to have your mind absolutely blown? This show's iconic theme song is performed by Dennis Tufano and Mindy Sterling. Mindy Sterling, that sounds familiar. I wonder why. This is Mindy Sterling. Frau Farbissina is singing this theme song, and you will never recover from this information. Honestly, the fact that it's her singing this just makes me like it even more. So, no, I no. don't. It's no, it is not me. It is not me. It is, uh -huh. um, and and it, this is this is, and now it's like become this big thing. Yes. Now so there was a there's another Mindy Sterling, obviously, uh -huh. and um, she's a singer songwriter. Okay, and I found out that she was going to be singing near me in a club. This was years and years and years ago, and before Austin Powers, I went to see her. And I said, I'm the other Mindy Sterling. And we were like, she was a doll and she was so sweet. No, she's the one that did it. But I got a check for for her and I looked her up. This was not too long ago, guys. And I looked at her up on um, Facebook and I found her and I wrote her and I said, hey, just want to let you know there's a check for you. Oh my gosh. Wow. She's like, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. And then she, then she said to me, you know what? You can keep it. That's okay. You can keep my royalty. You are wow. a Mindy Sterling. I mean, it wasn't that, it wasn't well, that much. Thank you. <laughs> but no, but it was like, but now it's kind of this weird thing. Like it's maybe because that guy put it out there. Maybe yeah, possibly all it takes is one that goes viral. Like, that's you, it. you also sing. So it's not yeah, that's out of why. the realm of possibility. And you have yeah, a great but, voice, yes. by the way. We liked it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, it's pretty. But, it, but no, I, it's like, I don't, you know, I, I just, but I find that to be such an interesting um, situation and how it has been uncovered again. And now everybody, that's <laughs> the one question we heard. And I knew you were going to, um, I either thought you were going to do that or you were going to go that you heard on TikTok that Mike Myers is doing another Austin Powers. Cause I get those two oh, a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, I hadn't heard that okay. one. Okay. Well, since you brought it up. <laughs> I have no idea. I, you know, he said he wanted to um, when I saw him last year when we did the commercial for this for the Super Bowl. Oh, you must help save the world first. Then you can take over that world. Okay. And uh, he said he wanted to and he, he really would like to do it. So if he's working on it and there's other factors to it, I'm not privy to it, but I'm still always hoping that that might happen. I, I think there are a lot of fans out there that are hoping that might happen. Yeah. yeah, I think that I was suspect. one that didn't, that was one of those films that ended before you were like, hey, they should probably stop making these. Like, it was like, it ended on a high note that you're like, oh, it was so good. Yes. So, yeah. so I think a comeback yeah. is is inevitable if they do it. Now, um, uh, you do uh, cons and so forth. What's it like going there, signing things, talking to fans? What are, what are some of the highlights of, of doing that? Well, I'm a people person and I love talking to people and I love um, hearing, you know, wonderful things people share with you as well. And when when young people come up to me and or whatever um, and they just are teary eyed or they're like, oh, my God, or oh, my God, I saved everything to come here to see you. And I heard you. I, I mean, first of all, that just, you know touches my heart so much. And then I like talking to them. I love that when you holler, show me the clothes, show me the clothes. <laughs> I just love the camaraderie that you get and the fact that somebody has, you know, saved their money or you are just, wow, I mean that much to you. So you mean even more to me because you keep me going as well. 
I do love them. I'd like to do more. I'd like to, just like voiceovers, I'd like to do more. I've got a couple, I think, in August coming up, but um, I do. I'm probably one of those people that just like waits for people to come so I can talk to them. <laughs> yeah, man. It, yeah, it's it's so fun. You know, animation. So you've done American Dad. You've done a few different types of shows. What is it like working uh, with these casts? I did um, more of Cora. She was so guilt-ridden about what she did to protect you, she didn't feel worthy of her badge. You know, I was in that a lot. And okay. so they would what they would try to do is they would try to get, is, you know, most of the people together. So right. you're in a room. And I felt like, because it was like one of my big things and when I was just getting into voiceovers, and I just was like, oh my God, I can't believe I have all these people here. And blah, blah, blah. And I would, I would just watch them, listen, learn, um, and um, so I'm still, I feel, still feel like a little baby in there. Not quite yet. Republic City's temporary police headquarters. Enough stalling, Ping. Start talking. I want info on the triple threat's new leader. What's his name? You're not getting a peep out of me. Chief, I think I got something. What is it? I got a question for you that uh, just shifting gears just a little bit. So you've done acting your entire career and uh, I'm sure some roles, do you still have to audition mostly for most roles? Or are you handing them? And then how do you deal with that, that real emotional up and down? Like, you know, you do a project and then you don't, and then you do one and then you don't, and you've never stopped hustling really uh, since the beginning. How do you do, how do you make a career out of that? That's really the loaded question that's really it's really hard it is I and mean, you know i mean when the lows are low and we can be low like right now i'm in that period of like oh where am i going and uh, you know i lost the show people. hole yeah and i don't i don't have any i'm not a, i don't i'm not a writer so i don't get involved in that kind of a thing um so you can you can your mind can go to a dark place but mm -hmm. um I am, I'm a, a, a big believer in one door closes, another door opens. Mm -hmm. And I try to tell people that and um, that don't give up. And because that kind of happens to me a lot where I'm like, Ugh. and then like, oh my God, I said, all it takes is one call. One call. One call. Yeah. Like, hey, watch you back for blah, blah, blah. And so that, and because it's happened to me a couple of times, I just know that that's there mm -hmm. and you have to hold on to something that, um, keeps you alive and keeps you, whether, you know, you take care of yourself, uh, working out, walking, whatever, um, friends, seeing friends, try not to drink that much. <laughs> <laughs> try. I like the word try. 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 try not Sometimes it's, you know, you're like, oh, just a little more. Um, and, um, and uh, yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't have any hobbies. That's a, that's bad on me. I, I need a hobby, but I don't, I just don't have anything I'm, I gravitate to. Um, and uh, yeah, I think just keeping busy and keeping grateful. There's gratefulness all over myself because mm -hmm. I have so mm -hmm. much to be grateful for and so much more that I will be grateful for. And, you know, I watched the, the um, SAG Awards last night. I thought it was wonderfully done. You're watching it on YouTube, which is very odd. Um, and there was no bathroom break. Oh, <laughs> <Wow. laughs> commercial. So yes, yeah, so there's no bathroom break. So um, and uh, just listening to their stories, I and, and because it is, it's just it's it's you got an opportunity. You did somebody did something. They were nominated. I was nominated. Um, you know, for the Creative Arts Awards, which right. they usually do that before the um, the Emmys, the Emmys. Yeah. And um, it was the one, it was called Con Man, um, but it was for two. Con Man and um, Sex and Exes. And um, I could not make, I, I couldn't believe I was up for two. So it kind of, I think, probably killed myself. No. Oh. Like I beat myself because you split the votes. Right. But isn't, yeah. isn't that also uh, rare? I mean, that you were like yeah. the first person. For well, that that's happen, what I, aren't you? I don't know if it's the first person, but I really thought, you know what, you guys, I'm just, I, I just got to let it go because yeah. um, I, first of all, I, I was nominated. I was nominated. I don't care, you know. Twice. And, yeah, twice. And yes, uh, for, in the <laughs> same role, which is hard. And I just thought, who knows? I don't know if it was if it's on the first or the second, but um, I, I'll always just be known as that. 
And so then, you know, it was okay. Then it was okay. But um, yeah, so you just, and you just keep, you know, I do get, um, I do get offers on things. Um, sometimes um, I'm not crazy about it and I'll say, I don't think I'm going to pass. Um, other times I'm like, yeah, and I don't get it. You know, oh, yeah, I'm, that's so hard. That's so frustrating. Yeah, you're like, especially when you're like, oh my gosh, that role was made for me. Like, exactly. how could you not pick me? I am literally this character. <laughs> now, but, but you, uh, that I is mean, it's so, so true, and it's so, you know, it's it's just it's all so subjective. Yeah, and yep. you this is and so my philosophy is, um, I I go, you know, I, I do an audition, and in my mind, I go, I'm not going to get this. But I want to do the best audition I can because what I do want is someone to go. Oh, we love her. Yeah. Um, she's not right for this, but we're gonna we're gonna put her in something else or whatever. So yeah. I want you want to make a mark. You want it, you don't want somebody to go because you know they don't look at them that long. And you, what you don't want is you know like oh no next no, no you know you want someone to go oh oh hmm. Mindy, we're we're up on time right now. We want you to uh, join us again next week, but uh, but right now, thank you so much for uh, joining us on the show today. And we got so much more to talk about. I can't wait for it. Now go thank to the you. lobby. <laughs> that was rude. No, that, that was, was rude. rude. I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. It was so rude. It was just so I hate rude. What did I do so wrong? Rude. We're in the middle of talking. Okay. And, okay. There we go. Thanks for joining entertainment, dudes. Stay uh, tuned to next week. We've got much more with Mindy Sterling. It's going to be so, so fun. You do not want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. I'm serious. No, you don't. You no, it's amazing. Like, how do you, who knows you can learn so much from one person? I mean, outside of you and I, of course. Yeah. Uh, you and me. Yeah. I mean, because I learn a lot from me every day. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's like, never mind. Delete me off of this show. Well, thank